This is Stephen Wachowski from Christian Music Network, and we have Kim Pratt. So how are you doing, Kim? I'm great. I'm awesome. Thank you for having me. Really Awesome, 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 awesome. So tell me about yourself. Uh, wow. Uh, I think it's pretty, I hate to say simple, but pretty simple. Um, I'm a child of God. I love God. I, um, I'm a worshiper. I'm a mom. I'm a media personality. Um, I'm a lot of things. Uh, I'm a musician. I'm an artist. Uh, I'm a rapper. I'm a spoken word artist. You know, it's a lot of things rolled up into one to make a great gumbo, I think, of uh, what God created me to be. Cool, cool, cool. So, so how did you get into music? Um, well, I grew up in a musical family. Um, my mom played keyboard. My dad sung a little. Uh, when I was younger, my mom would have us, me and my um, two other siblings, my brother and my sister, we would all sing together as a group. And um, from that, I started writing songs and then I started writing poetry. And that morphed into uh, writing raps. And um, just as I got older, I thought I had to pick either or, you know, like, oh, well, you have to either rap or sing or do spoken word. But God showed me I don't have to fit into one box, you know, he said, right. use all the gift things that I gave you. So, yeah. So as, as I grew, all of that came together. So, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see my... with, with my mom and son and still that. Right. Yeah. I see a lot of artists doing that, you know, yeah. It's, it, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it's it's all combined, you know. It's just, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, and it, and it started. It's really, really yeah, awesome. My mom, my mom, um, uh, taught me piano, like when I was like six, seven, eight, somewhere around there, and uh, just my love for music grew. Just watching her, she, her and my brother, they used to direct the choir and everything, and and just watching them and and just hearing the different emotions and the different messages that you can convey through music. It just, I don't know. It was just like a love I couldn't let go of. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Uh, 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 you have a song called Walk on Water. Tell me about that. Yeah, so um, some some may know, some may not know. Um, I, I'm also known as Kiwi. Uh, my first projects I released, they uh, came out under that name. And then later on, I changed it to Kim Pratt and um, Walk on Water is like the first single I released in several years I don't know how many exactly but maybe uh, about three four years um, so it was you know it was just a lot I'm like okay Lord do you do I say I have something to say you know and I always tell people I will write and record until I no longer have a global message and then when I stop and I'll stop but um, I thought I was done, honestly, and uh, God just started giving me um, message, an another message, and the song Walk on Water, it's kind of twofold. It talks about how um, how I wish things were like it was when I first started, you know, when I first started writing music and recording music. I did, of course, ministry, but I also did it for fun, you know, it's like I enjoyed doing it. It, it wasn't all of the rigmarole, you know, you know, in the industry, you know, once you get into the industry, then it's not just, okay, let's write a great song and share it with your friends or share it uh, at a church. It's now, okay, we have to promote it, you know, and, and what's the marketing strategy and what's your demographics and what's this and what's that, and what's your budget, and, you know what I mean? And it's like, I, I miss the days where it was innocent, you know, and um, the business thing wasn't so heavy. And uh, so that's pretty much what the song, it starts out talking about me as, as in my youth, you know, just that feeling I had when I wrote and when I shared music and how things changed a little bit once I got into the industry. And then I thought about it. I said, hey, wait a minute. When I was younger, I used to dream of these days <laughs> in the industry. And now that I'm here, I'm dreaming of being back young. So it's like, you know, that, that little wrestling match there sure. but also on the spiritual end uh, um walking the water it, it just it's going back to the innocence i was thinking about when jesus raised the um the young lady from the from the dead i think she was like 12 years old and a lot of times we have things within us that god instilled in us when we were younger dreams visions uh, uh desires for ministry and things like that uh, desires of career 
that God gave us. But as we got older, it, we kind of let those dreams die. So it was like uh, the song's really calling us back to life, back to those dreams, back to those visions. Hey, you can still walk on water. You know, when you were younger, you're like, oh, when I grow up, I'm going to be an astronaut. You know, you, it didn't dawn on you, you know, different things or what all it took. You just didn't care. It's like, hey, if I want to do it, I'm going to be it. And the song is just kind of calling you back to those times. Like, hey, you can still do it. You know, you can still walk on water. You're still invincible. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Great, 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 great. Uh, you have a song called Surgery? Yes. Okay. Tell me, mm -hmm. tell me about that. Um, surgery, it was uh, my from my last project. It was the title cut from my last project. And... Um, the song is really chronicling my journey to healing. You know, a lot of, uh, in my earlier walk in my music and in my earlier days in ministry, I would tell my testimony a lot of, you know, how, how God healed me um, in my youth and of different hurts that I, that I had. And then a friend of mine, I was, I was actually working on that project. She kind of uh, checked me a little bit and <laughs> she said, you know what? She said, it's time out for you being the wounded healer. And, and I was like, what do you, you know, like, what did that mean? You know, so I took it to God. I'm like, God, is there any truth in what she's saying? And um, God was showing me that a lot of things that I thought I was healed from, I actually just buried. And uh, so some things I had to like dig up, you know, and, and, and face them and let God actually uh, heal me completely from, from that from those things. And um, so surgery is kind of chronicling that journey or the beginning of that healing journey in the beginning of that, uh, letting God just create in me a clean heart. You know what I mean? Like a Psalms 51. It, it, it's just, uh, just one exposing myself, not exposing myself, but being trans transparent in my own walk with Christ, hoping that others can identify with that and it'll encourage others to let God do surgery on them as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, you have a song called Fall. Tell me about that. Yeah, um, that's my latest single. Uh, it came out a couple of months ago. Um, and it's really, how can I put it? It's, it's again, transparent. I, a lot of my songs that I write are uh, autobiographical. You know, again, hoping that those watching or those listening um, can identify with it. And I was just talking about just again, still on that journey of healing and was talking about how, you know, a lot of times we hear music and we hear the songs, but we don't realize that it's years in between each verse, you know what I mean? Or, or the diff different things. It's not just A, B, C, D, you know what I mean? And um, so again, I was just talking about just as I'm going through that healing process, if I messed up, you know, would God still love me? You know, because sometimes we have those moments, especially when you're in the sure. public eye, you're like, well, wow, what happens? Like if I slip up, if I say the wrong thing, if I have a human moment, um, how, what would be the result of that? And then if you listen throughout the whole song, it, it ends with me being reminded that God's mercies are brand new every morning. You know what I mean? That, we have mercy, we have grace, and God is a loving God, and he'll never leave us nor forsake us, you know, so you, the main thing is, if you fall, which, I, of course, I don't encourage that, because the Bible says he will keep you from falling, but if it happens, the thing is, don't stay down, get back up, and continue your walk with Christ, you know, let him dust you off, repent, whatever it is you have to do, and don't go back to those things, but keep walking towards God because he's there and he's right there with you to walk you through this life. Yep. yep yeah. And, and, and once you realize that you don't have to do it alone, Christ is there, you know, you know, you know, mm -hmm. he's a burden bearer, you know, which is, which is why, why I love, you know, because, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, just to admit that, you can't do it alone. You know, you got Definitely. all these burdens and, and all these things mm -hmm. happening, you know, you know, there's a, you, uh, 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 and then Jesus saying, just give them all to me, you know. Definitely. I can carry them. You can't. You're designed. Right. Mm -hmm. You're designed 
not to carry these burdens. I am. Mm -hmm. You you are not. You know, once you realize right. that, you say, okay, you know. <laughs> right. right, definitely. I got you, we have Exactly. Yeah. We have to you know? fall back yeah. and let, let God do his job. You know, exactly. we got to stop exactly. trying to do yeah. his job. So, yep, yep. exactly. Yep. Yep. yep, yep, yep. The problem is we keep taking our burdens back on our sho shoulders, mm -hmm. you know, even though Jesus mm -hmm. says, no, 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 no. Give them back to mm -hmm. me, you know. Right, right. You know? Exactly. It's crazy. You know, you know. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So, so uh, where can we get your music? Um, it's on all digital platforms, iTunes, Apple Music. Um, Spotify. So just search Kim Pratt. Uh, you can search K I M P R A T T. Uh, some of my other projects are released under K with the exclamation point instead of the I. So K exclamation point M P R A T T. But or the easiest way, go to I am Kim Pratt.com and it has links to all of my music. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, so uh so how we can contact you through your website or yep yeah, yep yeah. through the website i am kim .com. there's a, a contact uh section where you can fill it out shoot me a message and um you know also has booking booking information as well so all right awesome 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 so uh, 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 uh so do you do concerts i do yeah yeah okay, yep. awesome. uh, just a matter of you know booking me and giving me enough time to get out there and <laughs> all of that right. yeah but I love to come out I love to uh talk to people and and minister or, through music through word you know um testimony the whole nine is all about spreading the message sure 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 so uh when you do concerts what are they like what are they like um well it's kind of like what I said before it's a gumbo you know like you have you have me um, uh, rapping. I will I will uh, incorporate spoken word in there. I incorporate worship. I sing. You know, uh, I may jump on the keyboard depending on you know how God is leading and how much time I have. So each it's each concert is a different experience. So yeah, cool. I love them. Cool, cool, cool. So what what's I had for you? Um, I'm working on my next EP. Hopefully it will be out by the end of July, beginning of August. It's going to be called Introspect. And um, it's going to be six, six songs on it. So uh, with the company videos as well. So I'm excited. It's been a while since I released um, more than a single. So, you know, just putting out the full EP, you know, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a long time coming. So. Awesome. 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 So do you have any advice for other musicians or performers? Um, I always say, just make sure this is something that God called you to. You know, um, a lot of people have talent and all of that, but they may not be called necessarily to, um, to this area of ministry, you know what I mean? Um, or even in the industry. Because you're going to see some things that aren't always pretty and it will show you um, how strong your relationship with God is and, and all that. You know, some of your uh, heroes or <laughs> some, of the, some of the people that you grew up listening to may not always be, you know, <laughs> may not always be who you uh, dreamt they would be. But are you going to let that shake you or, you know, are you going to keep on and, and being a light in the midst of what's around you so long story short make sure you're called to it and um remember remember your foundation which is jesus christ amen, amen. i would like to thank you for coming on with my thank you pleasure so uh any thank you yep any last words uh, no, just again, thank you for having me and just be on the lookout for introspect. Uh, like I said, that should come out the end of July, beginning of August. And just awesome. go to my social, all of my social media is at I am Kim Pratt. So IG, TikTok, um, Facebook, everything is at I am Kim Pratt. So, you know, just keep it locked there and I'll, it, you'll have the final date of uh, when the project will come out. Okay. 
uh, uh, thank you for coming on and God bless you. And we'll be thank you. looking forward to your EP. Thank you so much, Stephen. I appreciate it. Yep, God bless. And, yep, and good night. <laughs> good night.